what's going on youtube ali dope checking in once again with another tutorial all right today we're gonna take on big draco soldier boy we're gonna do a dope bootleg rap design t4 soldier using a few 3d elements um and some other things so let's just hop right into it First, you just gotta find your images. Always start off, get you a pile of images that you wanna work with. Some designs are simpler than others. Some designs with wrap designs, you only need like one picture. Sometimes you could do two or three. Um, it just depends on what your, what your goal is when you're creating. So right now, I'm just gonna cut out all my images. Okay, after you lay out your images, I'm trying to get a background. I think Soulja Boy is universal. I don't know why, for some reason, um, you took over the world. So I'm gonna throw that earth background in the background as well as start on the text. So we're gonna start off with the text, Big Draco. We gotta go through some changes, you know, finding the right font and the right sizing and everything like that. Okay, set your font up stylize it like you want i use uh fuller modes uh textile and i just made a few adjustments to it to fit what i want to do like i said i can still make some of these textiles i am coming out with my own bootleg creation pack and my own elements pack very soon by the end of the year so this just makes my process easier but in the meantime in between time you can use my link in my bio probably get it for seven bucks i think you get like two dollars off or something if you use my code in the bio so pretty much just find the font that you want, use the textile and adjust it. Don't just take a textile and then just be like, oh, that's good. Add some more gradient, fix the bevel, make it work with your font. the overlay on the gradient on the inside once again i'm using eye software or alien skin or whatever it's called to use my 3d once again because i don't like photoshop's 3d program which is it's just mad complicated for no reason <clears throat> this makes it easy for me just extrude it change my extrude colors i don't have to do any extra steps so i'm going to take some colors that's like already in it i think it's going to be some blues and i'm just going to play with the highlights and play with the shadows okay so those extrude elements that you made that is going to go on a duplicate layer that's going to go underneath your main layer like so so now you have 3d and then you have the main textile and then you can either group them together i feel like that makes it easier duplicate the group and then convert one of the duplicates to a, a small object So I did go ahead and add that little outer glow on the main layer and this I'm just going up there and I just click warp and just you ch chose one of the the warp styles they had like upper lower just whatever fits your design you can also go in there and play with the perspective and the skew as well So I played with some selective colors. I didn't like how it was turning out. So then instead, I just went to camera raw, made some adjustments to the clarity and the texture and a few other like contrasts, blacks and shadows just to make it uh, darker overall. Okay, cool. Well, you have that set, then you can start adding your other images. I'm gonna add this picture of Soulja Boy in the peak Soulja Boy era. You gotta make some adjustments, uh, levels, gradient maps. You gotta do what fits yours. So this, I just did a color burn to make it like black, but you kinda know that shirt, so it's not like super abundant. I think I am gonna change these background um, images
changes to blue so they contrast the red that he's wearing in the main image with the blue and the text cool and then finalize that pick one of your gradients and just create a clipping mask to just that area for or that image like i said i'm gonna use a glow for the background so we just got to cut out this glow I'm gonna use the Eclipse tool. Sometimes it's hard to cut out round objects. Just shift your select tool and make it and move it to where you want to. Just do select inverse and then delete. Cool, now you wanna find some other images. So now with this image, just gave me an idea. I actually didn't end up going with this Soulja Boy image right here, but it just sparked my idea. So when I seen this, I said, okay, this is cool, but I'm having some problems. So I need to adjust how I'm placing him in the image. So I just decided to um, make a selection around Soulja Boy's hands since it's in a good spot. It looks like he's holding something or would be holding something. So my first idea was to add the globe, and I was like, nah, I like the globe as a background. Then we try to add him, and then I end up actually adding money. So I use that instead. But you just select it, copy the arm. So now it's an like arm underneath the arm. So now you can put stuff underneath the arm. And it looks just as cool. So cool. See, I switch it out, added money. Sized it up. There you go. And then just went and deleted that white stuff that was in the image. some um, spray brushes in the background just to give it some contrast to bring in some new 2000s bootleg flare and I put the money right underneath his arm that I just copied and duplicated created a drop shadow so now it looks like he was just holding a bunch of money right there I think that's cool especially for like a t-shirt type design and just like with any other design you gotta play around with some elements so I end up using the big Gucci fiasco <laughs> picture on the opposite side of him. So it kind of is like a uh, soldier boy and big Draco. So it's both best of both worlds. But like with any other design, I do end up adjusting and moving things according to how I see fit. It's just, I just try to get things laid out and the image I want to use so I can continue on. I feel like some people procrastinate on the design by just like, oh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Just do things and then as you're doing them, you know, other ideas will spark. So as I'm doing this, another idea spark, like, oh, it's not really sitting right with me with it being right there. So with that being said, I went and grabbed another image off Google. I was like, yeah, from the Make It Clap video, that's his most recent hit. I'm gonna put that over there. I feel like it's a taller image. It looks bigger than life. So I'm gonna take that one, put that over there, and then move the other image back. Now I'm still gonna make the same adjustments that I made to the red, the original Soldier Boy on the right hand side to this one. So I just gotta add the levels and gradient map on this one as well, and then I'm gonna place the image. original soldier boy i'm about to move that because it doesn't look right anymore so it's like boom just delete it it doesn't work like just check it just like it doesn't work the original gucci man we had or gucci bandana soldier we had we're gonna use that i feel like that by the money with his hands up and it's like damn that's a lot of money that's just what i think of when i place images so i'm gonna make a few more adjustments right now All I did was add a few gradient maps to the Soldier Boy image with the Gucci bandana. This one, I'm gonna add a few uh, lens brushes to the text just to give it that, you know, that 90s flare, that bling bling, you feel me? And no boo. 
bootleg T is complete without some sort of secondary text. So his quote of the year has been, stop playing with Big Draco. Stop. Draco, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, academic. Stop playing. So we just know you stop playing. A dope font. Once again, I have gradient maps um, set all the time. It just makes life easier. I could really make all these and have a set, but as I make them, I'll, I'll really, like I said, take time to really make some. But these are just easy just to show for tutorials and things like that. When you're doing, obviously, original work, you want to go in there and create your own original gradient, stuff like that. But even like the best of the best is using these assets. It just makes the process so much easier. It's a, a great investment. So I just broke down the text on two lines, the stop plan and the with me, different lines. And I'm just going to convert them to a, a smart object. And then I'm going to warp them. And then I'm going to add a perspective skew on there. So then it looks like it's coming from out of that corner on the left side. So everything's evenly balanced. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. You can always add some extra flares, some money, some other glows. But that's it for me. Um, until next time, you guys, I appreciate you. Please subscribe, like. Please comment and tell me what y'all think. If y'all used it, send me y'all work and everything on Instagram. I appreciate everybody reaching out. Um, enjoy y'all work. I hope this helps somebody. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good stuff planned for the rest of the year. I got some surprises in store fairly soon.